Coral reefs are the most diverse and productive ecosystems in the world's oceans. They occupy just 0.1% of the sea, yet 25% of all marine species are found here. Coral reefs are home to complex web of resident species that rely on each other for food, shelter, health and breeding areas. But many other species also depend on reefs for their survival, from pelagic fish, sharks, turtles, marine mammals, birds and of course humans. Healthy coral reefs are essential for fisheries, coastal protection and tourism, and therefore the livelihoods and well-being of hundreds of thousands of Tanzanians. But reefs all over the world are threatened by human activities, such as unsustainable fishing, pollution, physical damage and the impacts of climate change. Research estimates that under current conditions, 80% of the world's reefs will not survive beyond 2050. But it's not too late. Science reveals the problems, but can also suggest the solutions. WCS has been studying the world's tropical reefs for decades, including 94 sites in Tanzania. These long-term data provide crucial insights into the impacts of human activities. The research has also demonstrated that Tanzania has some unique geographic features that create stable ocean temperature and that can shield many reefs from the impacts of climate change. Tanzania's reefs also have a unique community of fish and corals that are not found anywhere else in the Western Indian Ocean, which makes them a global priority for conservation. However, over and destructive fishing remains a huge threat to Indian Ocean reefs. Many corals and fish populations cannot persist in the face of current practices. Scientists use different methods to assess reef health. Measuring fish biomass or the weight of fish per unit area of reef is a good way to evaluate the impacts of fishing and to gauge a site's fisheries potential. Over decades of study, WCS has identified three key biomass fisheries thresholds below 500 kilograms per hectare, which is considered overfished, 500 kilograms per hectare or more, which is considered sustainably fished, and 1,200 kilograms per hectare or more, which is considered a conserved reef. The overfished state is caused by intense unsustainable fishing activities. Remaining fish found on these reefs are small and fast growing, with limited ecological function or benefit to livelihoods. Without immediate, effective and appropriate management, these reefs will further degrade into sea urchins and dead coral fields with no hope of recovery of fisheries and food for people. The sustainably fish state shows larger fish. These fisheries are productive but are sensitive to climate change and hence more prone to further decline if not fished appropriately. Maintaining compliance with effective fisheries management is needed urgently to prevent further decline and to maintain productive fisheries. Sustainably fished reefs are critical for feeding people and will not persist if destructive practices such as small meshed dragnets and dynamite fishing is allowed. The conserved state demonstrates a vibrant reef and is evidence of little human impact or successful fisheries management and conservation. The resulting diverse ecosystem and fish population increases the reef's resilience to climate change. In addition to sustaining productive fisheries, reefs in this category also have higher tourism potential. WCS research shows that there are very few conserved reefs in Tanzania and there is a need to urgently increase their coverage through effective marine protected areas and strict fisheries regulations. Strong fisheries management can lead to fish biomass recovery, which ensures important fisheries species have a place to grow and to reproduce. Additionally, having these species increases the resilience of reefs to other threats, including climate change. Sustainably fish reefs in particular have excellent potential for recovery and to assist the recovery and productivity of adjacent reefs. 
Given Tanzania's unique climate resilient reefs, the potential benefit for community livelihoods, health, trade and tourism income are considerable. Let's work together to safeguard these globally important reefs for the benefit of communities, the marine ecosystem, the nation and beyond. Thank you.